What is radon gas and what are the things you need to do to protect yourself? Hey everyone, welcome to Minneapolis Living. I'm Nick Sundahl with Ake to Homes of Keller Williams Classic Realty Northwest. Before I get to radon and the things you need to do when buying and selling a home, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button. When you're there, ring the bell so you're alerted every time I upload new content on Tuesdays and Fridays. What is radon gas? It's a naturally occurring radioactive gas found in certain areas of the country, and it's very prevalent here in Minnesota. Radon gas is actually the second leading cause of lung cancer, according to the EPA. Now, it disperses very easily outside, but because in Minnesota we have basements, it leaches into homes very easily through the ground and can come in through your foundation. So in Minnesota, we have a lot of testing when it comes to buying and selling homes. And in the near future, it looks like it's going to be a requirement to have radon mitigation systems installed into those homes. Now, as a seller, you can do one of two things. If you've never had a radon test done in the property, say you bought it 20 or 30 years ago and it really wasn't that prevalent at the time in terms of testing, you can get your own test and it's very inexpensive. And if you're deciding to sell, it's a great way to be transparent with any potential buyers that are coming to look at your home. On the flip side of that coin, if you get a test and the test is higher of that four parts per million threshold, which should require a mitigation system, now you've actually gotten yourself into a situation where you're purchasing a mitigation system, which can run anywhere between $1,500 and $2,000, depending on the size of the property and what needs to be done in terms of that installation. On the buyer's side, you definitely wanna have a radon uh, test done, and most inspectors are equipped to do a radon test in any home and it just happens to be tamper-proof, in which case uh, you're going to get pretty accurate readings from a 48-hour to a 72-hour time period to find out what the radon uh, levels are in that particular property. Now, as a seller, keep in mind that if you do perform that test, uh, you're going to have to disclose the results of that test to any prospective buyer. And that's why I typically don't really recommend sellers performing the test prior to putting their home on the market. Now, if you do want to do that, especially now where we have limited people coming through our homes, being completely transparent with the property isn't such a bad idea. Uh, but usually you can allow that buyer to just perform the test and then come back to agreeing uh, to put in that mitigation system because more often than not, the seller is gonna have to do that regardless uh, because you've now created a health hazard again, if it ends up being above that four parts per million threshold. Radon gas has gotten a little bit of a boogeyman kind of effect to it, and it's actually very easy to deal with. Ultimately, getting the radon mitigation system is also a very simple install. It's very effective in dealing with radon gas, and it's something that I recommend most homes get, especially here in Minnesota. What else are you curious about radon and how that process goes? Please comment below. Do you have any other questions that you would like to talk about privately? Are you looking to buy or sell real estate here in the Twin Cities? Please reach out. You can call, text, email, hit me up on social media, but I would love to have that conversation. This is Minneapolis Living. Please stay safe, please stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.